All right, so now that we have our basic authentication scaffolding put in place, what we're going to do is create a user seeder uh, and set up our first login. Uh, we're also going to modify the user migrations table uh, so that we can um, add additional things like roles for this particular user. So we'll go ahead, we'll start this. So where we can go first of all is over to database migrations and we're going to look for our create users table okay in here we're just going to plug in uh, basically two two different columns one we're going to be a string and that's going to be role and we'll set the default to user right now the application is only going to have administrator and user and then the last item we're going to put in here before we might migrate this again is going to be uh, just a text column and it's going to be called settings and we're going to make that nullable so it doesn't actually have to have a value in it okay perfect so we got that done now let's go over to our seeds database seeder we can see we have one here already but the file itself is not created so what we have to do is we actually have to create that file so i'm going to open up another one here okay Make it a little bit bigger so you can see a little better. And we'll go PHP artisan make cedar. And it'll just be called user cedar, like we have up there. Perfect. Now, what we're going to have to do is bring this in. So I go Control Alt I. Uh, I imagine on Mac that would be Control uh, or Command Alt I if you have the correct plugin. So, what I've done here is I basically said, okay, use cedar. So I've resolved the namespace. Uh, that this class is being called from. So you will have to add that. I do recommend a uh, namespace resolver, which you can find in here. I have one already, the one Mehdi Hassan. Uh, this one works great. Uh, there's a number of different commands you can use to bring it in. And it also gives us the ability to, say, go and actually view the user table seeder, which is what we'll do right now. I'll go back to my file structure over here, and you can see we're in user seeder, which is populated under seeds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to create a user. I have to bring in the namespace there. And user create. And we'll add a couple of different items. One, uh, we need to add a name. So the name one, I'll just put my name in here. Okay, and we'll say email. And I'll put my email in there. And we're going to want to put in a role. And the role is going to be admin. Well, let's make sure we got all the stuff we need to fill out. So name, email, role. Um, oh, and then we'll have to add in a password. Okay. So we, we do have to hash our password. Uh, you, Laravel gives us a nice little utility to do that. Uh, it's a class hash and we'll have to bring that one in so you can see here it says uh, illuminate support facades hash so I brought that one in and we're going to use a method in there called make so this basically makes our password for us we do want our passwords more or less to be strong passwords uh, so as we go to create say user passwords uh, the user passwords themselves are going to have to have, say, an uppercase, a lowercase, a number, and a special character uh, in them. And you'll see how to do that a little later on here. But that's it. So now we can actually run our seeder. Go back down here. PHP artisan. Um, migrate. Fresh, because we made some modifications to our users table. Um, and that dash dash seed is going to go to the database seeder and any seeders we've put in here to be called is going to uh, basically call it so and run this okay so we ran into a little problem uh, user seeder has no effect first thing i'm going to try to resolve this is just going to be composer dump auto load so that we can resolve everything properly And up here, I don't actually think we need to put user seeder. That might, that might be where our error is actually coming from.
but we'll see here in a moment. Okay, so that's resolved. That's all fixed. It was probably because I actually removed where it says cedar up there because technically the user cedar is called um, all the configuration is taken care of us in composer for that. So we don't always need to bring it in, but this is a case where, um, yeah, we didn't have to. Okay. So we got that done. Now we should be able to log in with this password and this username if we go back to our login page. So we'll go log in and put in Tyson at modcall.com. Password one, two, three, exclamation mark. And you can see that functions properly. So we are now logged in. So that is how you initially set up your seeders. You can add all sorts of data right off the bat. If you want to add multiple uh, user accounts to play with it, you can. One other thing that we can do is we can also create a factory. Um, so I'll get into factories a little bit later when we actually go to create out our, out our user management table. Uh, and that's actually where we will start next.